Hi, this is Shreyang Siddharth once again. In the previous video, we talked about the filter and map methods. Now in this video, let us talk about predicates in case of Kotlin. Now the predicate in simple words, it is just a condition that simply returns a boolean value of true and false. So what are predicates functions? So here we have all, any, count and find. So the all method simply asks a question. Do all elements satisfy the predicate or the condition? So it will simply return either true or false. That is a boolean value. Now here down the side I have any. So this any method simply asks a simple question. Do any of the elements present inside the list satisfy the condition or the predicate? And it will simply again return true or false. Now down the side I have a count method that simply returns the total number of elements that satisfy the condition or the predicate. And at last I have a find method that simply returns the first element that satisfy the predicate. So from the list it will simply check out the first element from the starting that simply satisfy the condition and simply return it. So let's check out the code in action inside the IntelliJ IDE. So here again I have the list of numbers 2, 3, 4, 6, 23 and 90 and so on. Now let us start using the functions of the predicate such as my numbers dot all. Let us start with all method. This all method simply expects a lambda function, right? So here I will simply define the lambda function that will be actually a condition. So here I will simply use num going into num greater than 10. So find all the numbers that satisfy this condition, right? It simply means this only. Now since here we have only one parameter num so it can be replaced by it, it greater than 10. Now this all method simply returns a boolean value. So I will simply use val check one equal to my numbers dot all. So this statement simply asks that are all the elements greater than 10? If yes, then simply returns true. If not, then simply returns false, right? So in our case, it will simply return false because all the numbers are not greater than 10. Now, if you notice here, all is a function that takes the first parameter as a lambda expression. So you can also use the function type here as well. So as a first parameter, I am simply passing a lambda. Now the purpose why I am using a function here, I will shortly let you know. Now here let us print the check one. So as expected we get false in the output console. Now let us use my numbers dot any. So this any method simply now expects a predicate. So here inside the function I will simply pass the lambda expression about let's say num going into num greater than 10. Now here again let us replace it by it. So this statement simply asks the question, does any of these elements satisfy the condition or the predicate? So here we have few of the elements such as 23 and 90 that simply satisfy this predicate, right? So it will simply return true. So let us use a boolean variable val check2 equal to num. Now this check2 is actually of the type of boolean. So I guess no doubt in this very simple and then simply print out the check to. So in the output we get true here as well. And now proceeding forward let us now check out the count. So my numbers dot count. So here again I will simply pass the lambda expression let's say it greater than 10. So this statement will simply return the number of elements that satisfy the predicate. So it will simply return the integer value let's say val total count equal to my numbers. Now this count will be of the type of integer, right? And now let us print out the value of total count. So here we have two. So there are only two numbers that is 23 and 90 that satisfy our condition or the predicate. Now at the end I have let's say my numbers dot find. Now this again expects a lambda as a first parameter. So I will simply use it greater than 10. The condition will be same. 
and here it will simply return the first number that matches the predicate so it will simply start counting from 2 and look for the and look for the integer variable that simply matches the condition that is the predicate so as soon as it reaches 23 the condition becomes true so 23 actually satisfy this condition it greater than 10 so it will be then stored inside the value of let's say num equal to my numbers right and now let us print it out print ln num and now let us run the code so here in the output we have 23 and we did not get 90 in the output console because 23 is the first element starting from the list that satisfy the condition of let's say it greater than 10. Now if you check out the documentation of the find you will find that it simply returns the first element matching the given condition or the predicate or null if no such element was found. So this simply shows that this number is of the type of nullable integer right so it can also contain the null value and now if you notice here that in each of the function we have the repetition of the predicate it greater than 10 it greater than 10 and so on here as well so as said in the previous videos that we can store the lambda function as a variable so here what i will do is i will simply define let's say my lambda let's say my predicate to be more specific equal to let's say it greater than 10 now the compiler don't understand what does it stands for here because here the it is standing in context of my numbers so all the numbers here are being represented as it in context of my numbers which is the list of numbers but here we don't have any list present here so the compiler does not understand what does this it stands for so for that you have to simply use the num variable going into num greater than 10 now again we have some error what is the type of this number variable so you need to specify it here as well int so this completes our lambda function now now instead of using the it greater than 10 everywhere you can simply replace it by my predicate here and again my predicate here and here as well let us replace it by the function my predicate remove it from here and down the side here as well let us put the brackets inside which my predicate and now let us run the code so here as well we are getting the same output in the output console so always remember this about all any count and find now there are lots of other methods as well that you can find here such as last last then and so on you can get all these methods down the side so as of now I just showed you all the important methods so this video was just to show you what are predicates in case of Kotlin so the predicate in short are just a condition that I have declared with the help of a lambda function. So always remember the predicates are just a condition that returns either true or false. So this was all about this video. Thanks for watching. This is Shrank Siddharth signing off. Thank you and have a good day.